All right, so you guys wanted to increase the stupidity on this channel. So, Will It Lube, episode 73. I don't even know what we're on anymore, but you guys wanted to see ice cream in a three by three and see how well it functions. Really cool, but that blue actually like low key melts. And we're doing Oreo ice cream because you gotta go all out for a special occasion like bringing this series back. But before we put the ice cream in, first things first, you guys remember the drill. We've gotta do a quick review on the queue. If you've already seen the review or don't want to see it again, uh, skip to this timestamp, but let's go ahead and talk about the next cube. So I've put a lot of random substances in this cube. Um, I think I put like glue, guacamole, mustard, potentially ketchup coming soon, but it's pretty quiet now, uh, which is really weird. I usually wash it out between series, but I mean, the turning's pretty good. It's pretty fast cube already. Um, I'm getting slight catches on the cube, uh, especially with like these outer layers, not necessarily the center, um, which is unfortunate, but our corner cutting, for example, is not 45 degrees on this. We'll do maybe a third with some hesitation, a little bit more. Yeah, so we can corner cut about a third of the face uh, with pressure. So, so we'll go ahead and put this to the test and uh, see if we can get any more corner cutting and less locking um, after we put the ice cream in. But we're gonna see how much we can fit in here first. So let's go ahead and pop off the top layers. I don't know why, but these cubes are always like really difficult for me to get apart. Uh, yeah, you can see it's still a little greasy in there from the butter, but we do our best to clean it out. I think I put this through the dishwasher like twice. Uh, so, don't know. Oreo ice cream. Let's go ahead and pop the top of this open. Look at that new container. And go ahead and peel the seal. Yeah, look at that. We can just take this and we'll just try to cram it inside the cube. This might be easier said than done, but yeah, I've got quite a bit in there. Try to get a little bit more in, maybe rotate it a little bit so we can squeeze some extra ice cream in. All right, yeah, look at that. So we can turn, uh, this is pretty full though. Let's put these pieces on and then put some more in the other side. Look at that, like a glove. Next corner and then the edge piece. I've already got some chocolate chip up on my hands, but all right. So pretty, uh, pretty slow already. So we'll see. Uh, but we got to put more in first before we do the full like in-depth look at this. Yeah. You can see the ice cream kind of coming up through the, uh, through the bottom there. Let's go ahead and put some more, uh, let's get some of this top layer looks a little bit softer. That's a lot. Uh, okay. Let's see if we can just cram that in there. Maybe we can get a little bit more. All right. Not bad. All right, we'll go ahead and put the ice cream to the side and then get our pieces on to the cube. All right, so not bad. We got a little bit leaking because I think it's starting to melt in here a little bit. Uh, but first turns, very slow. It just sped up here, surprisingly. I think as the ice cream melts because of the heat from the friction. So I can tell you right now, it is a lot more smooth than it was. My face is getting a little bit wet from the ice cream, but oh yeah, it's leaking out the bottom. Uh, okay, it is way more smooth. I do give it that, but let's check the corner cutting here. We'll just start with normal one cube. Okay, fine. A third. Hesitant again. Let's see if we can get half. Ugh. I don't think it's going to happen, guys. All right, so we can still cut the same. Uh, it is a lot smoother, but kind of in exchange for that, the cube is a lot slower now. But speeding up as the uh, ice cream kind of... Uh, melts here before this completely melts let's go ahead and pause for a second and do a quick 
solve and then just kind of go from there. All right, so I can't find my timer uh, and my hands are super sticky. So we'll just mix it up and we'll uh, throw a timer on the screen uh, in post-production so we can kind of get more of an accurate time. All right, let's uh, go ahead. So uh, the ice cream's definitely not helping the exterior of the pieces. Uh, my hands are slipping all over the cube, but, and I do realize this is also a slow solve on my part. To look OLL, cause you know that's what we do. And PLL skip, all right. Uh, so if you do get ice cream in your cube, hopefully you get more PLL skips. Maybe it's like a uh, luck booster or something. Uh, okay, but man. All right, final thoughts on this thing. Uh, did ice cream help? No, you guys probably saw that coming. Uh, one, cause the face is sticky and uh, slick. It's like butter on my pieces. And also too, because it made the inside of the cube slower. Um, and will drip all over your table. So uh, definitely not very many uh, upsides to putting ice cream in your cube, so I don't recommend, but one thing it did do well was make the, pe or make the cube a lot smoother, um, which I actually didn't see that coming. I'm, I'm fairly surprised that that did that. Uh, yeah, but man, this poor next cube. Uh, this is going to go through it. If you guys have anything else you want to see me put in this cube for a uh, Will It Lube series, let me know. I'll definitely do it. But with that being said, don't do this at home. And uh, make sure you subscribe if you made it towards the end of the video. Also comment rocks if you made it to this point in the video. So I know you're one of the OGs. But I appreciate you guys for watching. With that being said, see you in the next one. Peace.